<sighs> solutions. Talking about solutions, thinking about solutions, using the idea of working towards a solution as a way of guiding someone through a challenging circumstance. Uh, often our first instinct when someone comes to us and presents us with a problem, we focus in on the problem. And this often makes sense for fixing a bike or a car. You have to really understand the problem. You have to diagnose it, find the part that's malfunctioning, and repair it. But humans, we don't really work the same way. Um, our behavior is a little bit more complex. And what I'm going to be talking about uh, in this video is solution-focused uh, approaches to, to helping people work through an issue. Um, you know, humans, we're funny. Uh, even when presented with perfect information around, like, here's how you solve an issue, right? Like, here's all the information you need. You do one, two, three, and then you'll succeed at whatever you're going for. Even when we have that kind of information at our disposal, at our disposal, rather, we don't always do that. Uh, our motivations uh, are a little bit more complex uh, when we think about wanting to get uh, someone to a place where, you know, not only can they come up with a plan for solving an issue, but will they follow through with it? You have to take a different approach. And this is where this solution focused um, approach will come in. So in thinking about a, a solution, you know, that's kind of like the destination. You know, someone comes to you and they present you uh, with a challenge that they're faced with academically, socially, uh, or, or any other domain. You know, you get this person to start uh, talking about a solution by asking them questions that get them to think about a desired end state. You know, what's the goal that you want to see here? And, and how you can get people to start thinking about things like that are questions like, um, if, if this issue was resolved, if this issue was better, well, how could you tell? What would that look like? What would be even a small step towards uh, achieving that? Because often, you know, that's a good question right there, because oftentimes when people, especially when they're in a, a bad spot, a tight spot, they maybe can't always think about, well, how do I want this to be better? But when you can ask them a question, it's like, well, what's the tiniest possible thing that you could imagine that would be letting you know that this thing is getting better? That's like, you know, the thin end of the wedge that you can get in there that's going to help you open up that more to get them thinking, okay, about, well, how can I make this uh, better. So you can ask questions about like that. How would this be better? And then that's the destination. And then you have to be also thinking about how you get there. And that's often where strengths or, or past successes come into play because every single one of us, every human, uh, has faced really incredible, deep challenges, really uh, seemingly hopeless moments. Yet we got through them yet we're all here. But we don't always remember that when we're experiencing a challenge in the moment. So questions you ask, you ask the solution focused questions. Uh, you know, how could this be better? If this was resolved, what would that look like for you? And maybe you start to get some answers right there. But then you can start to ask questions about like, you know, how have you managed in the past to uh, be able to solve something like this? How are you able to make that better? What strengths do you have? What skills or resources or resilience do you have that's going to be able to help you through this situation like it's helped you through in past situations? Because same thing, you know, all those strengths, all those, that resilience that we do have inside of us, we're not always aware of it in, in that moment, especially in those emotionally uh, challenging moments. So, so questions that get people thinking about that. Uh, there's going to be another reading and uh, I think a video that goes along with this as well um, that's going to really get you thinking about using uh, questions that elicit uh, solutions, questions that elicit strengths and resilience uh, from people to really put them in a positive frame of mind. And a while ago, earlier in, the, in this video, I talked about, you know, motivation, ensuring that someone follows through on something. You know, this kind of approach really draws out a solution from someone else. You know, again, our first instinct uh, when someone comes to us with a problem is like, okay, let's solve this problem. 
And maybe that's not always what someone wants, right? You know, if someone comes to you with a, with a challenging issue, sometimes they just want someone to hear them out, right? So you have to wonder, maybe that's what they want. But if they do want to work through this, they do want to achieve some sort of resolution, they want to, uh, they want to take care of something, you know, asking them questions like this and drawing out from them their own ideas, their own strengths is going to make them so much more likely to follow through with that plan, right? Because it came, it came from them.